Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on completing a table of values for an exponential graph. Now in general an exponential graph has equation y is equal to some constant, so some number, times another number to the power of x. So in this particular case the a and the b are constants, they're fixed values that don't change. So you can see in this particular example here, the a and the b are 5 and 2, they're constants. They're, they're not a variable, they're, they're not x, they're just a fixed number. And the x here is the variable, so the x is the thing that can change. And we can see, as we complete this table of values, that the x value can change, but the 5 and 2 always remain the same, they're the constants. Now in this particular video, we're just going to work out the y values for each of these values of x for this particular equation. But in a future video, we'll see how we can sketch this graph and what kind of shape we get for an exponential graph. So all we need to do is just substitution, as we do for plotting any graphs. So when x is 0, let's work out each of these values of y. So when x is 0, then the y value will be equal to, if we use this equation, it's 5 multiplied by 2 to the power of x. Well, x here is 0 in this particular case. Now, we could use a calculator if we wanted, but let's try and do it in our heads. Well, 2 to the power of 0, anything to the power of 0, you might remember, is just 1. So we get 5 times 1, and that is equal to 5. So let's fill that number in. So when x is 0, y is 5. What about when x is 1? Now, this is a bit easier now. If x is equal to 1, the y value will be, again, let's use this equation, it's 5 multiplied by 2 to the power of x, or x is 1. So we just get 5 times, or 2 to the power of 1 is just 2 itself. So we get 5 times 2, which is equal to 10. So let's put the 10 there. And we'll do one more, and then we'll see if there's a pattern. So when x is 2, the next value of x, we get y is equal to, use this equation here, 5 times by 2 to the power of, now x is 2, 2 squared is 2 times 2, which is just 4, so we get 5 times 4, which is equal to um, 20. Now can you see, as we increase the power of 2 each time, it's getting 2 times bigger, so that's, that 1 is becoming 2 times bigger to get 2, it's getting 2 times bigger to get 4, and then 2 cubed will then be 2 times bigger, which is 8, etc. So we can see these values of y are getting 2 times bigger each time. So you can see that's getting 2 times big bigger. Then we put the 20 in, which we had here. That's getting 2 times bigger. So we continue that pattern. We're then going to have 5 times 2 cubed. It's going to be 2 times bigger, which is 40. And then when x is 4, it's going to be 2 times bigger again, which is 80. Now, as I said, we'll explore what this looks like in a future video. But just to give you a preview, if I was to quickly sketch it, exponential graphs, they're always above the x-axis, and they basically have this shape here. And it will have that kind of plane taking off shape from left to right, provided that that value of b, that number there, is greater than 1. And if we wanted to plot the y-intercept, well, when x is 0, x is 0 here, when x is 0, y is 5, so 0, 5 would be there, so it has a y-intercept of 5.